Hello everyone, it is your girl Claire here and in today's video I'm going to be discussing transferring from a community college to a university and to be specific UC San Diego because that is where I go. I want to make this video because these are things I wish I knew when I was transferring whether you're going from high school to a university or a community college to a university I think this video will be helpful it might change your mind or it might confirm like I really want to go to this school so with that being said, stay tuned. I hope this is helpful. Thank you. Coming in strong with number one, which affected me the most, is the pace. When I was at a community college, I was on a semester system, and then when I transferred, I was on a quarter system. And the big difference between a semester and a quarter system is that a semester consists of two semesters, each being 15 weeks long. A quarter system consists of three quarters, which are 10 weeks long. So basically what you learn in 15 weeks is slimmed down to 10 weeks. You learn the same amount of information and on top of learning the same amount of information, in my opinion, a University of California or UC is more difficult than a community college or a Cal State. So that's what affected me the most because I felt that I couldn't really keep up with my um, social life. I couldn't work. I couldn't really like spend time doing things that I enjoy in my hobbies because so much of my time was consumed by studying, doing homework, studying, doing homework. So that is something I would consider when transferring. All UCs are on this system. So I'm not saying like cut out the UCs because of the pace, but I'm saying be prepared because it will hit you like a ton of bricks if you spend your entire summer not taking any summer classes or not involving yourself in things like work or, you know, things to keep you productive because it's just crazy how fast the first quarter goes and it, it hit me. It hit me, guys, so pace. Number two is the location. UC San Diego is located in La Jolla, and guys, La Jolla is so beautiful. We are five minutes away from the beach. The community is very safe, very clean. I have parked my car 10 minutes away from my dorm outside of the campus at like 2 a.m. Uh, many times, and I've walked and I've walked and I've never felt unsafe. Don't do this, guys. Don't do this. I don't recommend it. But it's just a very safe community. It is clean. There is no homeless, but yes, there is a but. It is not really the college scene because there aren't bars that are nearby. To go to the nearest bar or club, it is about a 20 minute drive. And not everyone has cars, guys. Not everyone has cars. And on top of that, the closest normal grocery store is, again, 20 minutes away. We do have a Target on campus, but they don't sell alcohol so it's like what's the point what's the point and the closest grocery store is Whole Foods like okay trust me I love Whole Foods it's very healthy there are a lot of options but Whole Foods is not everyone's first choice you know like I just want a normal grocery store Target Vons Ralph oh wait fuck there is a Ralph's sorry guys there is a Ralph's but anyway <laughs> Sometimes I just want to go to Target, okay? Ugh. Number three is the Greek life, and sometimes this still annoys me today, but we do not have a frat or sorority row. And if you don't know what a frat and sorority row is, it's basically like fraternity houses on campus, sorority houses on campus. And it's just very convenient for everyone who is in a sorority or frat because you don't need to drive anywhere to get to a party. You can walk, a five minute walk. So we don't have that, which a lot of colleges do. And on top of that, it is just not, <laughs> UC San Diego is not the party scene either. It is very academic based, but I was in a sorority and I dropped it because it was just not where I wanted to be. A majority of the girls in there just wanted to party, which I get it you want to party but I was just looking for more involvement and meeting new girls and hopefully making friends but I felt a little too forced and plus the parties were whack the parties were whack I I've been to college parties and I don't know UC San Diego just can't they don't know how to do it 
but that's okay. Think about the Greek life. Think about, are you a college party person? Do you want to go to good parties? Do you want to have the time of your life? If you do, the Greek life at UC San Diego is not it. I was also going to add that the sorority life at UC San Diego is very expensive. Just to join a sorority, it's $900. And on top of that $900, it is $400 every quarter. So however many years you're going to stay there, you're probably going to be spending over $3,000 just to hang out with girls and party. If you have the money, do it. But if you're paying all of your expenses by yourself, I don't think it's worth it unless you're really enjoying your time and making friends and enjoying the experience that I wish I got. Um, yeah, don't don't spend your money on that, please. So, number four is the colleges within colleges. I don't think any other college does this besides UC San Diego, but UC San Diego has eight colleges. Well, starting this fall, it's going to have eight colleges. And I am in ERC, Eleanor Roosevelt College. There is Warren College. There is, I don't know, there's a lot of other colleges. But when you apply, you're going to be given an option of ranking each college. And when I applied, I just thought, oh, okay, sure. I just randomly ranked them and I got put in Roosevelt. But let me tell you guys, this is a big bummer for a lot of transfers because you're going to be taking, well not just for transfers, for incoming students as freshmen, but you're going to be forced to take classes that have nothing to do with your major. So they're kind of like general education classes, but I guess me transferring, it made me more frustrated because going into your junior year, you're supposed to be taking your major classes. But no, you still have to take a few of these classes that are required by your college. So for instance, if say you're a STEM major, you are in a computer, you're a computer science major, and you are in ERC, which is my, my uh, co college, sorry, you're going to be required to take three intensive writing courses on the history of whatever your professor wants to, you know, base it on. So it's just frustrating it feels like a waste of time and it also feels like a waste of money so when you apply to UC San Diego pick your colleges wisely coming in as a transfer there are certain colleges that don't require you to take these um, these classes if you completed your IGETSI so complete your IGETSI and try to get in the college you need to get in do your research I think it's six college that doesn't require you to take um, any classes if you finish the IGETSI, but double check please. And yeah, this is just a weird thing that UC San Diego has. Yeah. Last but not least, number five is the social life at UC San Diego. When I came here, I was really looking forward to making a lot of friends and getting to know people. But this school, like I said, is very academic driven. People want to get their degree and head out. And if you don't look like them, it's like so sad to say, but if you don't look like them, they don't want anything to do with you. Majority of the students that I have seen at UC San Diego and that I've also researched, researched, 60% um, of the school is Asian. 30% it says online it's Asian. The other 30 is international students. But I strongly, firmly believe that the other 30% of international students are also Asian. And most of my experience with those people have not been great. They don't really look at you, they don't smile at you, they don't want to interact with you. And on top of that, a lot of classes that I've taken, I have felt that I haven't really made friends because people are not giving me back the same energy that I am and to be honest if I hadn't reached out to majority of the people I have I probably wouldn't have any friends at UC San Diego which is really weird because I feel like in college people want to get to know each other or at least I do I want to network I want to get to know people because I think that's that's the fun thing about college but 
because UC San Diego is a little more academic driven and more people just are there. It's a very STEM based college, but um, even then, like, I feel like People are, don't have as much spirit, people aren't as happy, but that's just my, my perspective and what I've experienced because there have been times where I want to study with someone and I ask them and they just don't give back the same energy, um, which is fine, but yeah, it's something to, to look at because you want to be, or at least I wanted to be in a college that feels very inclusive and I don't feel like that everyone's ethnic background at that school is equal. So that's what kind of took a toll on me because I love interacting and I like talking to people. And because I didn't get that my first year, it kind of sucked. Although I did make a few friends, I had hoped to make more. But, you know, this time around, it'll be different. I have to put myself more out there, which a lot of people a lot of you students need to do when you go to UC San Diego. You can't think, oh, people are going to come to me. I'm going to make friends because it's going to be a very inclusive um, environment. No, you need to put yourself out there and you need to make friends. You need to join clubs, sports, whatever it is, because otherwise you're going to feel lonely and you're going to feel left out and it's going to be really hard for you to stick around. And on top of that, sorry guys, before I head out, UC San Diego has this acronym as UCSD, UC Socially Dead, and I kind of agree with it. People say it is what you make it. Yes, I know it is what you make it, but it's hard to do that when other people aren't reciprocating or giving back that same energy that you're putting out there. The only thing you can really do is keep pushing. Don't let people bring you down because at the end of the the day you're there to get your degree and you're there to succeed but at the same time try to make as many friends as you can and keep pushing because from what I know I feel like networking and meeting people is the best way to get experience and to put yourself out there and get a good job find a good job so keep pushing guys you got this and those are my five like things that really made me think about this college and these are the things that I feel that will help you in the long run so I hope that helps I know I probably didn't make sense with some of the things I said but thank you for watching I hope you watched all of it and I hope everyone who is planning to go to UC San Diego you go because it is a good school I promise you it is a good school but you got to put yourself out there you got to be prepared and you got to do you so thank you